even with these temperatures, it's the perfect time to head outdoors for a wildlife excursion. So why not head to the annual Texas Butterfly Festival? To better explain, we have Mariana White with us this morning. So good morning again, good Mariana. Good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. And tell us a little bit more about this event. Well, it's the 18th annual Texas Butterfly Festival. And uh, the Rio Grande Valley is unique in North America in that we have more butterflies than anywhere else in the country. We really are the butterfly capital of the United States. And this is the peak of butterfly season when they're migrating through here to their overwintering grounds in uh, Central and South America. And a lot of people were wondering, we even got a lot of calls into our newsroom, we had to do a story about it because we've seen so many butterflies as you're driving down the expressway and some of them you think are like on a suicide mission, just jumping right into your windshield, but tell us a little bit more about that. Well, they are on a mission, not a suicide <laughs> mission. They're on a mission looking for food. Of course, okay. they need lots of energy to make their flight and many of them make a very long journey. Um, thanks to monarch, mar monarch Monitoring, for example, where they tag monarchs uh, in Cape May, New Jersey. They know that some of those uh, monarchs from New Jersey make it all the way to South Texas or even into Mexico. So they need lots of, of nectar and energy to make it that far. And they're also looking for the plants that their caterpillars eat. They have to find those plants to lay their eggs to produce the next generation of butterfly. They can't lay their eggs on any plant and hope that the eggs will hatch and those larvae will go find food. Right. So disappearing habitat's a big issue and it's negatively impacting butterflies across the country. You mentioned the monarch butterfly that so many of us have come to learn about in school. Not many of them left. Well, um, scientists and cons conservationists and lovers of butterflies are concerned about the declining numbers and uh, we're not really sure where the monarchs are going, why they're disappearing. We're seeing fewer and fewer numbers of them in the United States and I think it's largely tied to the disappearance of milkweed. Milkweed grows from Canada all the way to Mexico which is their migratory path and there are about a hundred and different uh, 20 species of milkweed. Mm -hmm. It's the only food a monarch caterpillar can eat. Wow. So if we don't have milkweed, we won't have more caterpillars. And this is happening uh, this weekend. Yes, the 18th annual Texas Butterfly Festival is Saturday through Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Saturday is community day, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., free and open to the public with games and activities. And we have uh, our sponsors will be there and we'll have vendors and food and fun. And then Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we have expert guided field trips all over the valley from Falcon Dam to Brownsville, where people are coming from about 18 different My. states and three different countries to look for butterflies here in South Texas. Such a great event, educational for the entire family, want to head outdoors, perfect place to go. So thank you so much, Mariana, for being with thank us this morning. You. Truly appreciate your time. Now let's send it over to Victoria.